The day I met a canvas. <laughs> Hello, canvas. Hello, Henri. How are you today, canvas? I'm great, thanks, Henri. I'm so lucky to live in an art gallery and spend my days surrounded by some of the most amazing works of art in the world. Wow, Canvas, there's so many. Over here, we have some traditional oil paintings, a portrait, a landscape, and a still life. Hello, Henry. And over here, we have some examples of modern art, abstract and pop art. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, that's so interesting, Canvas. I didn't know that there were so many different types of paintings. But, um, how come you're down here and not hanging on the wall with all of your friends? Oh, just look at me, Henri. I'm completely blank. So dull, so lifeless, so devoid of colour or artistic flair. I'd never be hung in an art gallery looking like this. Oh, if only there was an artist around to help. That gives me a great idea, Canvas. I could become an artist and we can create a masterpiece together. That's a great idea, Henri. Okay, Canvas, first things first. We're going to need some paint. Hello, Henry. I'm red. I'm blue. And I'm yellow. And together we are... The, the primary, primary Colours. Primary Colours? That sounds very important, Canvas. It certainly is, Henri. By mixing these three, you can create lots of different colours. If you mix red and yellow, you get... Orange! If you mix yellow and blue, you get... Green! And if you mix blue and red, you get... Purple! That's great! Now we have lots of colours. I just need to decide what I'm going to paint. How about a self-portrait, Henri? A self-portrait? What's that, Canvas? A self-portrait is when you paint a picture of yourself. That sounds perfect, Canvas. Let's start painting. Hello, paintbrush. Hello, Henry. Hello, easel. Hello, Henry. Hello, pot of water. Hello, Henry. There you go, canvas. All done. What do you think? Wow, Henri. That's amazing. It's the best self-portrait I've ever seen. But it looks like it's missing something. What's that then, canvas? A work of art like this needs a signature before it's finished. That way everyone will know who painted it. You should sign it, Henri. Will do, canvas. Will do. Be careful, Henri! Whoa! Phew. That was a close one, Canvas. Canvas? Oh, no! I'm so sorry! You're ruined! Ruined? On the contrary, Henri! I think I look marvellous! Such colour, such texture, such energy. I'm perfect. Your painting, it's a... It's a masterpiece. A masterpiece? Do you really think so? Most definitely, Henri. Well, in that case, there's only one thing left to do. Just a little bit to the left. There. Perfect. What do you think, Canvas? Oh, I feel fantastic, Henri. But aren't you forgetting something? Oh, of course! I still have to sign you! Yay! The day Henry met a canvas He laughed along with everyone The day Henry met a canvas He made lots of friends and had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me canvas. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henri. And thanks for helping me finally become a beautiful work of art. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henri. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met... A rainbow. How are you today?
today, Rainbow. I feel wonderful, Henry. I just love brightening up the sky and adding a splash of colour to everyone's day. Rainbow, where did you come from? You weren't here a moment ago. Are you magic? Oh, oh, no, I'm not magic, Henry. Sometimes when it rains and the sun shines through the raindrops at just the right time, a rainbow like me appears. Wow, that's amazing, Rainbow. And you're so colourful. My favourite colour is orange. Oh, orange. I love orange. Such a lovely warm colour. Oh, but I must admit, I am partial to a bit of green. Oh, and I quite like red as well. And yellow. And violet. And blue. Oh, and don't forget indigo, of course. In fact, you could say I love all the colours of the rainbow. Me too, Rainbow. But if you're not magic, does that mean there isn't a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow? Oh, I don't know, Henry. I'd love to find out, but only a leprechaun would know how to find a pot of gold. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea. I could become a leprechaun. And I can find the pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. Oh, that's a great idea, Henry. OK, Rainbow, it looks like the pot of gold could be over there. Well spotted, Henry, dear. Oh, but it looks so far. Maybe I could ask that unicorn for help. Oh, good thinking, Henry. Hello, unicorn. How you doing, Henry? I'm doing great, thanks, unicorn. I was just wondering if you could give me a lift through the forest to the end of the rainbow. Through the magical fairy tale forest? It would be my pleasure. Hop on, kid. Oh, good luck, Henry. And remember, safety first. Don't worry, Rainbow. I have my helmet right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, the end of the rainbow. Hello, troll. Hello, Henry. Hello, gingerbread man. Hello, Henry. Hello, three little piggies. Hello, Henry. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Oh, don't give up, Henry, my dear. You've come so far. Maybe I can help. Oh, hello, little bean. You see, I'm a special type of bean, Henry. Are you a baked bean? Are you a runner bean? Are you a marvellous Mexican jumping bean? Even better than all those, Henry. <laughs> I'm a magic bean. And if you plant me in the ground, you'll get to see what makes me so magical! Whoa! Up, up and away! Whoa, that is one tall beanstalk, Henry. If I climb to the top, I think I'll be able to see the end of the rainbow. And maybe even the pot of gold. Oh, be extra careful while you're climbing, Henry. Will do, Rainbow. Will do. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Unicorn. Top of the beanstalk, here I come. Here I am, Rainbow, at the top of the beanstalk. Oh, and look, I can see the pot of gold. Hi, Henry. Hello, pot of gold. Oh, well done, Henry. Oh, but how are you ever going to get all the way down there? That's where you come in, Rainbow. Ready or not? Here I come! Whee! Well done, Henry! You did it! Oh, you found a pot of gold! Thanks, Rainbow! Now who wants some chocolate coins? Yay! The day Henry met a rainbow He laughed along with everyone The day Henry met a rainbow He made lots of friends and he had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me, Rainbow. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry, dear. And thanks for sharing your chocolate coins with everyone. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Oh, bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush. Hello, Henry. How are you tonight, Toothbrush? 
I'm great, thanks, Henry. It's almost the end of another gloriously squeaky clean day in the bathroom. Are you here to brush your teeth before bed? I am, Toothbrush. I've eaten all my dinner, tidied my room, put on my pyjamas, and now it's time to clean my teeth. Well, we'd better get started then. Toothpaste, if you would be so kind. There you go, Henry. Thanks, Toothpaste. Whenever we eat or drink, teeny tiny bits get stuck between our teeth, so we have to remember to give them a jolly good scrub. Top and bottom, otherwise you might get a toothache. Will do, Toothbrush. Will do. How's that, Toothbrush? <gasps> oh, looks like one of your baby teeth has fallen out. Is that because I didn't brush them enough? Oh, no, Henry. As you get older, your baby teeth fall out to make room for your adult teeth. So pop me under your pillow, Henry. And if you've been extra good at cleaning your teeth, the Tooth Fairy will come and leave your shiny coin. Baby Tooth, have you not heard? The Tooth Fairy has eaten too many sweets and has a toothache and won't be collecting any teeth until tomorrow night. Oh, if only there was another Tooth Fairy around. That gives me a great idea, Toothbrush. I could become a Tooth Fairy and we can take my baby tooth and swap it for a lovely shiny coin. That's a great idea, Henry. Wow, Toothbrush, you're so big. It's not me who's big, Henry. It's you that's really, really small. This is so cool. Now, we have to take your baby tooth to the Tooth Kingdom and present it to the Tooth King. If he thinks I'm sparkly and clean enough, he'll reward you with a shiny coin. OK, everyone, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Oh, ahem, <laughs> Henry, Baby Tooth and I can't fly. Oh, of course. Sorry, Toothbrush. There you go. Bye-bye, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Here we are, Henry. The Tooth Kingdom. Wow, this place is huge. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the Tooth King? I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Okay, you two. Let's go. Hello, sweet tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, gold tooth. Hello, Henry. Hello, wisdom tooth. Oh, hello, Henry. Here we are, Henry, the Tooth Castle. Wow, it's amazing, Toothbrush. Let's head inside and meet the Tooth King. Hello, Tooth King. Ah, oh, hello, Henry, my dear boy. Welcome to my humble abode. I trust you had a pleasant trip through my Tooth Kingdom. We did, Tooth King. I never knew there were so many different teeth. Oh, that reminds me. We've brought you a present. A tooth? Oh, how splendid! Let's pop it on the clinometer and see how it measures up. Well, tickle my molars, Henry. That's the cleanest, whitest, sparkliest baby tooth I've ever seen. You deserve an extra special shiny coin for all your excellent brushing. Thanks, Tooth King. Now run along, baby tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, Henry. Well done. Thanks, Toothbrush. And thank you for helping me keep my teeth nice and clean every single day. The day Henry met a toothbrush, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a toothbrush, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me toothbrush. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for the adventure. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... ...an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Apple. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Apple? I'm a little bit nervous, Henry. 
but I'm really excited at the same time. It's my first day as a teacher's assistant and I want to look my best. Would you mind giving me a quick polish, please? Of course not, Apple. <laughs> there you go. Lovely and shiny. Ah, much better. Thanks, Henry. Are you all set for your first day of school? I think so, Apple. Let me see. I have my pencil case, my reading book, and my packed lunch. Hello, Apple! Hello, everyone. Looks like you have everything you need, Henry. Now, all we need to do is wait for the teacher to arrive. OK, everyone, quiet down, please. It's time to start the lesson. Mm, Apple, if the lesson is about to start, shouldn't the teacher be here by now? You're right, Henry. I wonder where they are. Ding, ding, ding. Apple, Apple, I have some terrible news. The teacher isn't feeling well and won't be coming into school today. Oh, no, Henry. That's terrible news. The whole class is here, but there's no one to teach them. Oh, if only there is another teacher around to help. That gives me a great idea, Apple. I could become a teacher and we could teach the class together. That's a great idea, Mr. Henry. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Henry and I will be your teacher for today. Good morning, Mr. Henry. We all know the importance of a good education, so I'm sure I can count on your full attention and for you to be on your best behaviour. You're it. <laughs> Quiet, please. Oh, put that down. Don't do that. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Henry. Can I go to the toilet, please? Oh, yes. Of course you can, little desk. Phew. Teaching a full class is a lot harder than I thought. Keep at it, Mr. Henry. You can do it. You just have to think of something that'll hold their attention. Good thinking, school bell. Quiet now, everyone. Settle down, please. It's time to start the first lesson of the day. You've got their attention now, Mr. Henry. So start teaching. Will do, Apple. Will do. So if I have three oranges and I eat one orange, how many oranges do I have left? Mm, two oranges. Correct. And that's how a tadpole grows legs and turns into a frog. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Henry, it's almost home time and we still have one subject to teach and we have to tidy up. Don't worry, Apple. I think I have an idea. <whistles> OK, class. Time for your PE lesson. The object of the game is to tidy up the classroom as quickly and safely as possible. Three, two, one, go! <whistles> Thanks, board rubber. Good teamwork, everyone. Just one last thing. There. Thanks, Apple. Well done, everyone. You were the best class ever. And you were the best teacher ever, Mr. Henry. Oh, thanks, little desk. OK, everyone. It's home time. Yay! That's my mum calling me, Apple. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to teach the class today. You're welcome, Apple. Have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, Apple. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A cauldron. Cauldron. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cauldron? I feel spectacular, Henry, because today is my favorite day of the year. It's Halloween! Ha 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 ha!
I love Halloween too, Cauldron. My favourite part is putting up all the spooky decorations. Hello, spooky decorations. Hello, Henry. Ah, 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 that's wonderful, Henry. And are you all set for some trick-or-treating tonight? I certainly am, Cauldron. I love trick-or-treating. Oh, that reminds me. I have some sweeties here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. It must be great being a cauldron on Halloween. It is, Henry, but instead of being used for sweets just once, I'd love to be a real cauldron and cook up a fantastic magical spell. Well, why don't you give it a try? It is Halloween after all. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but only a wizard would know how to cook up a fantastic magical spell. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Cauldron. I could become a wizard and we can cook up a magical spell together. That's a wonderful idea, Henry. OK, Cauldron, if we're going to cook up a spell, first we need to read the spell book. Spellbook at your service. Hello, Spellbook. Cauldron and I are trying to cook up our very first spell today. Can you help us, please? Well, of course I can, Henry. What sort of spell would you like? I've got the floating spell, the invisibility spell, the shrinking spell. Well, I love parties. And I love Halloween. So how about a Halloween party spell? <gasps> what is it, Spellbook? Oh, the Halloween spell is the most difficult spell of all. It is? Oh, yes, Henry. To cast the spell, you'll have to capture the foul smell of a witch's burp. Collect a sweaty sock from the paws of a werewolf and unscrew a bolt from the neck of Frankenstein's monster. Don't worry, Spellbook. I'm sure we can do it if we work together. Come on, everyone. Let's go! Hello, witch. Would you mind if we collected one of your burps? Of course not, Henry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Werewolf. Do you have a spare sock we could borrow? Oh, I certainly do, Henry. Hello, Frankenstein's monster. Would you mind if we borrowed a ball from your neck, please? Uh, of course not, Henry. Help yourself, dear boy. Great job, Henry. We collected all the items on the list. We should have that spell mixed up in no time. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it a try. Ready whenever you are, Henry. OK, Cauldron. Witch's burp and werewolf sauce. Add Frankenstein's monster bolt for a party that rocks. Hmm. Halloween parties aren't quite what they used to be. Are they, Henry? I don't think the spell worked, Cauldron. Spellbook, are you sure that was everything? Oh, let me check. Oh, silly me, I forgot to check the last page. It says we need a wizard's hat. A wizard's hat? Where would we find one of those? Why don't you check on your head, Henry? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks, Cauldron. Let's give it another go. Burp, bolt, sock and hat. Make a party appear. Just like that. Well done, Henry. You did it. Thanks, Cauldron. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh -huh. Yay! Yeah. Uh -huh. The day Henry met a cauldron. That's my mum calling me, Cauldron. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me cook up my first spell. You're welcome. Happy Halloween. Bye, Henry. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Broccoli! Broccoli. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Broccoli? Can't complain, Henry. Can't complain. By the way, can I interest you in any lovely, healthy fruit and veg today? Oh, yes, please, Broccoli. I love fruit and vegetables. 
I even have an apple tree in my back garden. An apple tree sounds lovely, Henry. Just like these two lovely raisins. Don't eat them all at once. Hello, Henry! Here we have half a pound of strawberries, twice the taste, half the price. Hello, Henry! And last but not least, we have a bunch of grapes. They were so delicious. Someone's already eaten most of them. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. Any of those tickle your fancy then, Henry? <laughs> they look lovely, but... Mm, where's the rest of the fruit and veg? Oh, sorry if the shelves look a little empty, Henry. I'm just waiting for a fresh delivery. Fresh delivery for the green grocer? Anyone seen the green grocer around? Oh, I'm sorry, delivery trolley. The green grocer is out for lunch, but I can take the delivery for you. Thank you kindly. I'll just pop this box down here, shall I? Thanks, delivery trolley. Oh, and I've popped the rest of them around the back, OK. Anyway, moustache, bye-bye. The rest of them? Oh, no, Henry. I'll never be able to sort through all these boxes on my own. If only there was another green grocer around to help. That gives me a great idea, Broccoli. I could become a green grocer and we can sort all the fruit and veg and restock the shelves together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Broccoli, with all this delicious, healthy, fresh fruit and veg everywhere, it's really important we don't drop any, we don't squash any, and we definitely don't squeeze any. Right you are, Henry. OK, Broccoli, let's go! Hello, Juicy Melons. Hello, Henry! Hello, Sack of Potatoes. Hello, Henry! Hello, lovely bunch of coconuts. Hello, Henry! <laughs> you did a great job, Henry. The shelves are full of delicious fruit and veg. Thanks, Broccoli. But we're not finished yet. We should probably do a roll call to make sure we have everything before the shop opens. Good thinking, Henry. OK. First up, bananas. Here. Cabbages. Here. Pineapples. Here. Carrots. Here. Avocados. Here. Tomatoes, pears and grapes. Here. And last but not least, apples. Mm. Apples? Oh, no, Henry. There must have been a mistake with the delivery. There's no apples. What are we going to do? Hmm. Don't worry, Broccoli. I think I have an idea. What are we doing in your back garden, Henry? Remember I said I had an apple tree? Oh, yes, of course. Good thinking, Henry. But the tree's so tall, how are we going to get the apples down? Leave it to me, Broccoli. Excuse me, apple tree, would you mind if we had some of your apples, please? Oh, of course not, Henry. Be my guest. Just have to have a little shimmy shake. Whee! Watch out for <laughs> Thanks, apple tree. You're welcome, Henry. Well done, Henry. You did it. You collected the apples and now the shop is fully stocked and ready to go. No problem, Broccoli. All in a day's work for Henry the Greengrocer. The day Henry met Broccoli, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met Broccoli, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Broccoli. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me get the shelves stocked full of lovely fruit and vegetables. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... ...a skateboard. <laughs> Skateboard. Hey, Henry, dude. How are you today, Skateboard? I'm totally stoked, Henry. It's the day of the big extreme sports event, and I just came up with a brand new trick. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, Skateboard. I call this the double loop-de-doo. Here goes. Whoa! Wow, that was amazing, Skateboard. If you thought that was good, Henry, check out my friends. This is BMX. 
Woo this is scooter. Yeah! This is rollerblades. Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. That was so cool, skateboard. But it looks a little dangerous to me. Can be, Henry, dude. That's why it's like totally important to wear all the right safety gear. If you don't, you could end up like my skateboarder. He had to go home because he fell off and hurt his knee. Oh no, that's terrible news, skateboard. It gets worse, Henry. I just realized without a skateboarder, I won't be able to enter the big extreme sports event. Oh, if only there was another skateboarder around to help. That gives me a great idea, skateboard. I could become a skateboarder and we can enter the big extreme sports event together. That's a totally bodacious idea, Henry, dude. Okay, skateboard, first things first. I need to check all my safety gear. Knee pads, elbow pads, and helmet. Check, check, and check. Good work, Henry. Are you ready? Ready, skateboard? Let's go! <laughs> Hello, half pipe. Hello, Henry. Hello, rails. Hello, Henry. Hello, loop the loop. Hello, Henry. That was totally awesome skateboarding, Henry, dude. All you have to do is nail this last obstacle, and you've completed the course. No problem, skateboard. What's the final obstacle? It's the super-duper gravity-defined jump of doom. Hello, Henry. Hello, super-duper gravity-defined jump of doom. It's going to be totally bodacious, Henry, dude. First, we have to speed down the super steep ramp. Then we have to jump over two buses, a jumbo jet, and a bouncy castle full of lions and tigers. Oh, on second thoughts, Henry, dude, I don't think this is such a good idea after all. But we've come so far, Skateboard. It would be a shame to give up now. And don't forget, I'll be with you the whole way. You're right, Henry. And I'd love to show my friends I can totally do this. Come on, Skateboard! You can do it! That's the spirit, Skateboard. Ready? Steady? Go! Jumps just up ahead, Henry. Hold on tight. Will do, Skateboard. Will do. Wahoo! Hello, Henry. Hello, Jumbo Jets. Oh, hello, Henry. Hello, lions and tigers on a bouncy castle. Oh, hello, Henry. Oh, no, Henry, dude. We're never going to make it. It's totally too far. Don't worry, skateboard. We still have one more trick up our sleeves. Remember? The double loop de doo Great idea, Henry, dude. Wahoo! Yeah! We did it, Henry! We completed the big extreme sports event and totally nailed the double loop de doo We did, Skateboard. But the best thing was that I made some totally awesome friends. Yeah! Today, Henry met a Skateboard. He laughed along with everyone. Today, Henry met a Skateboard. He made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me skateboard. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me take part in the big extreme sports event. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. A tennis racket. <laughs> Hello, Tennis Rocket. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Tennis Rocket? I feel great, Henry. Just practicing my forehand, you know. Jolly important to warm up those strings before a big championship tennis match. Oh, I love sports, but I've never actually played tennis before. How do you play? It's easy, Henry, old boy. You just have to hit the tennis ball back and forth over the net, but if you miss or the ball bounces more than once, the other player gets a point. And what are these white lines for? That's the tennis court, Henry. You have to try and keep the ball inside the court at all times if you want to win. Wow! 
Tennis sounds like so much fun. But I best be off. I'm sure you have to prepare for the big championship match. Well, you see, I've not played in a big championship match in a long, long time, Henry. Why is that? Most tennis players don't want to use an old wooden racket like me. And without a tennis player, I can't play a match. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Tennis Racket. I could become a tennis player and we could play in a championship tennis match together. That's a great idea, Henry. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm sure you're doing great. I know I am. Anyways, good luck to you. I made a best racket win. Aw, he was nice, wasn't he, Tennis Racket? Oh, Henry, dear boy, did you see that carbon fibre frame, those reinforced strings? An old wooden tennis racket like me will never beat a spiffing new tennis racket like that. Don't worry, tennis racket. We just have to remember to try our best and have fun. Here we go! Yeah! Yeah! Fifteen love to new tennis racket. New tennis record winning 15, love. You cannot be serious! Oh no, tennis racket. Looks like this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Yeah! All right! This isn't going very well, Henry. Phew. I know what you mean, Tennis Racket. We haven't won a single point yet. Are you guys okay over there? Of course you are. I know I am. I can't wait to see you both back on the court. Oh, and don't forget, never give up. He's right, Tennis Racket. We have to be more positive. Just listen to that crowd. Come on, Henry. You can do it. All right, Henry. With the crowd on our side, there's no way we can lose. Ready, Henry? Ready, new tennis rackets? Then let's go. Yeah. Steady, Henry. Now. Yeah. Fifteen love to Team Henry. Team Henry winning fifteen love. At last, Henry, our first point. Looks like we might just have a chance after all. Yeah. Match point, Team Henry. Team Henry, match point. This is it, Henry, my boy. It's match point, which means we only need one more point to win the championship. OK. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah! 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 Whoa! Woohoo! We did it, Henry! We did, Tennis Racket. But you can't have a great match without a great opponent. Come on up, new tennis racket. You deserve this trophy just as much as us. Oh, wow. Thanks for sharing the trophy with me, you guys. You're welcome, new tennis racket. Hooray! The day Henry met a tennis racket. She laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a tennis racket. She made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Tennis Racket. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the championship match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A telescope. Telescope. Greetings, Henry, my dear boy. How are you this evening, Telescope? I'm wonderful, thanks, Henry. It's a positively splendid night for a spot of stargazing, don't you think? Just look at that spectacular, clear, starry sky. Wow, it's beautiful, Telescope. There must be a bazillion stars. Uh, more like one billion trillion, Henry. One billion trillion? That's quite a lot, Telescope. How on earth do you keep track of them all? Excellent question, Henry, my boy. We look for stars that are grouped together. We call these groups constellations. Then we give them names so we don't forget them. Here, take a look. 
Over here we have Orion, the hunter. Hello, Henry. This is Ursa Major, the great bear. Brr. Hello, Henry. And this is Taurus the Bull. Hola, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, that's so interesting, Telescope. Who comes up with the different names? Whoever discovers the constellation, Henry, they get the honour of naming it. Have you ever discovered a constellation, Telescope? I wish I had, Henry. I've been out here night after night for years, but had no luck at all. Oh, if only there was an astronomer around to help. What's an astronomer, Telescope? An astronomer is someone who studies stars, planets, moons and other celestial objects. That gives me a great idea, Telescope. I could become an astronomer and we can find a constellation together. That's a marvellous idea, Henry. OK, Telescope, let's see what we can find. Hello, Moon. Oh, hello, Henry. It's lovely to see you again. You too, Moon. I wonder if you can help me. I'm just looking for a new star constellation. Have you seen one? I've seen a satellite, a space station and even some meteors. But I haven't seen any new constellations, I'm afraid. Oh, not to worry. Thanks, Moon. Never mind, Henry. The night is still young and there's plenty more stars in the sky. You're right, Telescope. Let's keep looking. Ah. Hello, Mers. Hello, Henry. Hello, Comet. Hello, Henry. Hello, UFO. Hello, Henry. It's no use, Henry. We've been searching the sky all evening and we haven't found a new constellation anywhere. Maybe we should call it a night. Don't give up just yet, Telescope. We still have one last spot to check. Whoa! What's that, Telescope? Is it a planet? Is it a meteor? Is it a strange alien life form from the planet Blippity Blop? Ah, no, unfortunately not. It's just a smudge on the lens, Henry. It must have got dirty after all this stargazing. Don't worry, Telescope. I'll go and give it a quick clean for you. Thanks, Henry, but be careful. My lens is very delicate. There, all done. Oh, <gasps> Henry, quick, look. You're not going to believe what we've just found. Wow, that's amazing, Telescope. It's a brand new constellation, Henry. And it looks just like me. <laughs> In that case, I now declare this the Henry Super Amazing Constellation. The day Henry met a telescope, he laughed a lot. The day Henry met a telescope, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me telescope. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a brand new constellation. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a tow truck. <laughs> Hello, tow truck. Howdy, Henry. How are you today, tow truck? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love being a tow truck and using my winch to pull stuff around. If I see someone broken down or stuck in the mud, I just have to tow them to safety. Well, you look like you've been very busy, tow truck. There are piles of old cars everywhere. Hello, Henry. I know, Henry. The Monster Truck Derby started last night, and they've been racing around crushing cars faster than I can tow them away. Ready or not, here I come! Phew, that was a close one. Oh. I love 
love my job, Henry, but you know, one day I wish I could be a monster truck having fun racing around, crushing cars, and driving through the mud instead of always being the tow truck cleaning up the mess. I think you'd make a brilliant monster truck. You do? Well, thank you kindly, Henry, but oh, look at me. My old engine is tired as a mm. mule. My paintwork is rustier than a box of nails, and shucks, I've seen bigger wheels on a little kitty's tricycle. I'd never make a good monster truck looking like this if only there was a mechanic around to help. That gives me a great idea, tow truck. I could become a mechanic, and I can fix you up. Ready for the monster truck derby. Well, gee whiz, that's a great idea, Henry. Okay, tow truck. First things first. We need to raise you up so we can change your tires. Oh, leave it to me, Henry. Big or small, I can lift anything at all. <sighs> Thanks, Jack. You're up next, Electric Wrench. Okay, Henry. Thanks, everyone. You're doing a great job. We're not finished yet, Tow Truck. Come on, everyone. Let's get to work. Hello, Super Chunky Tires. Hello, Henry. Hello, turbocharged engine. Uh, hello, Henry. Hello, spray paint cans. Hello, Henry. Yay! Well, Henry, I look like a real life genuine monster truck. Thanks ever so much. You're welcome, tow truck. Now let's get racing. Ready? Good luck, tow truck. Steady. May the best monster truck win. Go, go, go! <laughs> Woo -hoo! How am I doing, Henry? You're doing great, tow truck, but be careful. There's a big jump up ahead. Yee-haw! Thanks, Henry! Great job, tow truck. Next up is the mud bath. Okay, Henry, here I go! Whew! That was hard work, Henry. I'm not sure if I can keep up this pace much longer. You're almost there, Tow Truck. It's the final straight. And look, Monster Truck is stuck in the mud. You can't lose. <sighs> Did you say Monster Truck was stuck in the mud? Help! Help! Oh, no, Henry. What are we going to do? I wish I still had my winch. That way I could pull him to safety. Hmm. Hold on, Tow Truck. I think I have an idea. <laughs> there you go, Tow Truck. What do you think? That's perfect, Henry. Don't worry, Monster Truck. We'll have you at no time. Thanks, Tow Truck. Hooray! Well done, Tow Truck. You won the race. Thanks, Henry. I did love winning the race and being a Monster Truck and all, but, you know, I think I love being a Tow Truck and helping people even more. Oh, and Henry, do you think I can keep the new paint job? Of course you can, Tow Truck. You look totally brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a tow truck, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a tow truck, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me tow truck. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me take part in the Monster Truck Derby. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone. <laughs> Hello, dinosaur bone. Hello, Henry. How are you today, dinosaur bone? I'm great, thank you, Henry. I just love living in the museum amongst all these amazing fossils. Hello, Henry! Hello, fossils. Dinosaur bone, what exactly is a fossil? Well, Henry, fossils are made when living things die and are trapped within rock for millions of years, like these fossil skeletons here. Hello, fossil skeletons. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. But how did the fossils get into the museum? There are special scientists called paleontologists, Henry, whose job is to find fossils, dig them up, and bring them to the museum so we can learn all about them, just like this really fragile, one-of-a-kind dinosaur. 
egg. Oh, no, Dinosaur Bone. What are we going to do, Henry? If only there was a paleontologist around who could travel back in time to help find another dinosaur egg. That gives me a great idea, Dinosaur Bone. I could become a paleontologist and we could travel back in time and find another dinosaur egg together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first. If we want to find a dinosaur egg, we're going to have to find a dinosaur. Good idea, Henry, but where are we going to find a dinosaur? Ah! Don't worry, Henry. It's just a brontosaurus. They're herbivores. What's a herbivore? It means I only eat plants and vegetables, Henry. Om, nom, nom. I was just wondering, have you seen any dinosaur eggs lying around? I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. <laughs> but I have an idea that might help. Wow, thanks, Brontosaurus. We have a great view from up here. But this place is so big, it's going to take us all day to find that dinosaur egg. Well, we'd better get started then. Let's go! Good luck, Henry! Thanks, Brontosaurus! Hello, Triceratops. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs today? No, I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been too busy collecting fruit. Fruit salad, everyone! Hut, hut. Hello, Pterodactyl. Any chance you've seen some dinosaur eggs around? Yeah. I'm sorry I haven't, Henry. I've been too busy getting the kids ready for their flying lessons. Wait for me! Hello, Ankylosaurus. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs around? I haven't, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy practicing my swing. Four. We've looked all over, Henry, and we still haven't found a dinosaur egg. Don't worry, Dinosaur Bone. Let's have a little sit down on these rocks and come up with a new plan. Henry, that's not a rock. It's a dinosaur egg. We did it, Dinosaur Bone. And considering we're 65 million years in the past, I think things have gone pretty smoothly. Oh no, Henry, it's a dead end. Now we're in trouble. Please don't eat us, giant scary dinosaur. Mama. There you are, my scaly bundle of joy. Are you okay? I've been worried sick. T Rex wasn't trying to eat us at all, Henry. She just wanted her baby back. Sorry, T Rex. You should never touch any unhatched eggs, okay? Okay, T Rex. I pinky promise. And besides, I think I've had enough adventure for one day. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me dinosaur bone. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a new dinosaur egg. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. An ice cream van. <laughs> hello, ice cream van. Oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Ice Cream Van? Oh, I'm fantastic, thanks, Henry. The sun is shining and the waves are lapping at the beach. It's the perfect day for enjoying ice cream. It is, Ice Cream Van. I can't wait to spend all day on the beach. Did someone just say that they were spending all day at the beach? It's very important to put sun cream on, you know. Don't worry, sun cream. My mum put lots on me before I came out. Oh, that's excellent, Henry. But remember to top up again later and have some time in the shade too. Oh, and don't forget to wear a hat. Will do, sun cream. Will do. In fact, I know just the thing to help me keep cool. One ice cream cone with extra chalk chip fudge sauce, please, ice cream van. 
Oh, sorry, Henry. I have some bad news, I'm afraid. The ice cream seller is on holiday and he won't be back until tomorrow. That's terrible news. Did someone just say we can't have any ice cream? But we've been really looking forward to some ice cream. And it's the hottest day of the year. Oh, no, Henry. Look at that queue. It looks like everyone at the beach wants ice cream. Oh, if only there was another ice cream seller around to help. That gives me a great idea, Ice Cream Van. I could become an ice cream seller and I can make the ice creams and serve them to everyone. Oh, yes, that's a great idea, Henry. Right then, first customer, please. Can I have um, a vanilla ice cream with a, with a chocolate flake and strawberry sauce, please? Coming right up, Lilo. Thanks, Taff. You're welcome, Henry. OK, first things first. I need a cone. Here I am, Henry. And then I need some vanilla ice cream. There you go, Henry. And to finish it off, I need a chocolate flake and some strawberry sauce. Woohoo! <sighs> there, all done. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome, Henry. There you go, Lilo. Oh, thanks, Henry. It's delicious! Oh, well done, Henry. You're doing a great job. But, oh, look at that queue. It's huge. Oh, it's going to take forever to serve all those customers. Don't worry, Ice Cream Van. If we all try extra hard and work together, I'm sure we'll serve them all in no time. Ready? Oh, ready, Henry. Next customer, please. Can I have a double mint chocolate chip sundae, please? There you go, Parasol. I'd like a cherry ice lolly, please, Henry. <laughs> there you go, Donkey. May I have a banana sundae split, please, Henry? <laughs> there you go. Oh, well done, Henry. You did it. Every single customer has been served. Um, hello. Ex excuse me. Can I have a vanilla ice cream, please, Henry? Oh, I'm sorry, Tiny Bucket. I didn't see you down there. One vanilla ice cream coming up. I'm sorry, Henry. I'm afraid we've run out of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Henry. Oh, we can't have an unhappy customer now, can we? Don't worry, ice cream van. I think I have an idea. Oh, tiny bucket. I didn't have any vanilla ice cream, but how about this? A super duper Henry special. Wow, thanks, Henry. It's the best ice cream I ever tasted. The day Henry met an ice cream van, he laughed along with everyone. The day That's my mum calling me Ice Cream Van. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me serve all the customers. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum.